The cloud forest or Yungas is a place of extraordinary scenic and natural beauty. Its dense vegetation of trees, shrubs, epiphytes, mosses and lichens fully covers the hills. It seems as if not a single space is left without plants, creating a mystical and gloomy atmosphere in this high jungle paradise located in Peru, 140 kilometres away from the city of Cusco, in the province of Pucartambo, district of Cosnipata. The unique cloud forest vegetation appears where clouds, formed by rising warm and humid Amazonian air, meets the mountains and cloaks the slopes in mists. The leaves and stems of cloud forest trees and their mats of epiphytes, plants that use other plants as support, get soaked in the wet atmosphere. As they become saturated, water begins to drip down to the ground, first forming thin streams that, joining together, many kilometres below, become the great rivers of the Amazon. Jigna <laughs> These spaces maintain permanent humidity that allows the growth of a great variety of orchids. Some of these astonishing plants can be so small that they challenge our senses and force us to view them through a magnifying glass. Others go to extremes like blooming for only one day. When we observe an orchid, we are looking at one of the most evolved plants that exist. Since they have modified their structure and ways of reproducing themselves through time in such a way that, even today, they amaze botanists and obviously why catch us visitors. Just as the cloud forest is immensely beautiful, it is also very fragile. If even a small patch of this delicate green sponge is felled or destroyed, this is enough to modify its function and climate, and to eliminate part of its largely endemic species. Studies undertaken in the Cosnipata forests show that cloud forest plants and animals live confined to narrow altitude ranges of specific climatic conditions. Now we are doing a parcel 
y buscando a los sapitos que viven en el suelo y en la hojarasca. La mayoría de los sapitos viven bajo los musgos o en hojas secas, bueno, hojas en descomposición que estén húmedas. Acá hemos encontrado dos especies. Um, una es uh, Psychofrinella usurpator, que es una especie que ha sido, bueno, que se conoce desde hace desde los años 70 y es una especie de pajonal y también de matorral y zona de borde um, entre, entre el pajonal y el bosque el, el bosque en el... y esta otra especie es la especie una de las especies nuevas de huequecha es um, una ranita muy pequeña que tiene no más de 12 milímetros de longitud no se sabe mucho de la biología de esta especie es una especie que um, vive entre 2800 y 3200 metros nada más entonces estas justamente son las elevaciones acá de, de Huaquecha y vive en el, en, el bosque, en el bosque nuboso. Another issue that generates concern is the process of global climatic change that threatens the planet's ecology and the very existence of humankind on Earth. The atmosphere acts as a crystal roof for the planet. It is transparent to solar light, but less so to the infrared radiation emitted by the Earth's surface. When the atmosphere's greenhouse gases increase due to the effects of pollution, the infrared rays are more easily trapped and the greenhouse effect increases, causing the planetary temperatures to increase. It is estimated that this increase fluctuates between 1.5 and 4.5 degrees Celsius per decade. This is known as global warming, and there is still uncertainty concerning its effects on regional climatic changes in Peru and South America. By means of constant evaluations and monitoring in the cloud forests, we have already found that global warming increases the height at which clouds form. As the clouds climb up the mountains, the cloud forest becomes exposed and dries out. If the forest reached the top of the mountain and global warming continued, it would not be able to go higher and would become extinct. ¿Qué es Guayquecha? Guayquecha es un centro de investigación que trabaja en el bosque nublado, tiene una instalación muy bonita. Aquí llegan estudiantes, investigadores de todo el mundo para realizar algunos estudios sobre peces, sobre flora, fauna. La Asociación para la Conservación de la Cuenca Amazónica is taking a step forward in our understanding of global climatic change. It engages in environmental education aimed at modifying people's behaviour towards their environment, sensitising them about the importance of the conservation of the yungas, or cloud forests. With that scope, the association supports the strengthening of an environmental education network that involves the state's educational institutions and other entities concerned with environmental conservation. When the sea is very caliente, entonces the vapor of water starts to subir and se forma a gran nube. ¿Por qué? Porque el vapor de agua sube, sube, sube y de pronto cae frío. Entonces el frío hace que la, el vapor de agua diga, ¡ay no, qué frío, qué frío! Y se junten todos. Cuando se junta todo el vapor de agua, se forma una nube. ¿Y dónde se forma la nube? Justo acá. Por eso es que siempre está húmedo acá. Y esas nubes son las que le dan todo el agua. The experience of knowing and giving value to a place of such importance for its generation of life on the planet is unforgettable for hundreds of youngsters who visit the Cosne Patas Cloud Forest and the Huequecha Research Centre of the Asociación para la Conservación de la Cuenca Amazónica. Huequecha has about 600 hectares located over 2,500 metres above sea level and is adjacent to the Manu National Park. In that centre, research and environmental conservation activities are undertaken. Researchers from Cusco, Peru and the whole world converge to develop studies to expand their knowledge and provide answers to the effects of the climatic changes and their repercussions on a worldwide scale and local level too. For me it's very important for children to know their environment because I grew up in an area where there aren't many locations like this in the world. There, there's a large need for conservation throughout the world and this is one of the most important locations in the world for it in the Andes and in the Amazon basin and I think there's no better way than to really ensure the long-term conservation of an area unless the, the children of the location really know what is, uh, what is of value, what is of stake here and so 
for them to come here and see Waikecha, I think it really gives them a hands-on experience and that in the future as they grow up and become adults and become the workers of this land and maybe the conservationists of this land, they will understand the value of this land. These activities that sensitise students and teachers should involve members of society in the conservation of these natural species so that they can get to know their biological processes and protect them from, for the benefit of local populations and humanity at large. Thus, visitors can understand the dynamics of cloud forests and their fragility. Importante man hay que chingar en chiqui bosque. Sin el chacón man acá me chaca, chana man toco arra man toco poma. Man chingar en chiqui planta con tapas toca en angucho. Traen que lo ya por en angco. Chinga es chinga poma en chaca. Dos de rompe toco para para de muerte. De rompe una favor y poma. Para mí es muy importante esta educación. Eh, que se les tiene que dar a los niños necesariamente para que ellos puedan ya, bueno, de alguna otra manera valorar a las plantas, valorar su medio ambiente y tener pues en cuenta también el conocer cuán importante es la naturaleza, qué es lo que nos ofrece la naturaleza, qué es lo que nos da y qué encontramos en ella y para qué reservarlo, conservarlo, ¿no? Y si no hubiera de repente la naturaleza, no existieran estas o este hermoso paisaje como es el bosque nublado, ¿qué pasaría no, con la naturaleza o qué, qué pasaría con nosotros mismos? ¿no? Environmental education provides for adequate management, protection and conservation of the forest's natural resources, contributes to processes of community empowerment and seeks the generation of new sustainable enterprises in favour of a common goal, to diminish pressure on resources and redefine or recuperate relations between society and nature. The survival of these green cathedrals of beauty and inspiration that guarantee the subsistence of thousands of animal and plant species lies in our hands. To create a conservation conscience is a challenge in ensuring the continued existence of these prized cloud forests in the years to come. <laughs>